To check the version of the mod installed in your controller, while holding RT and LT, press up, down, up on the D-pad. After a few seconds, the LED will flash, indicating the version of the mod that has been installed. In this example, the LED flashes three times, indicating version 3 of this mod has been installed. To quickly turn your rapid fire on or off, hold RT and press down on the D-pad. After pressing down on the D-pad, release RT. If your rapid fire was turned off prior to this step, this step will turn your rapid fire on. If your rapid fire was on prior to this step, this step will turn your rapid fire off. This allows for fast enabling or disabling of your rapid fire. To program your rapid fire, make sure your rapid fire is on. Then hold RT and hold right on the D-pad until the LED starts to flash. This happens in approximately 3 to 4 seconds. Once the LED starts to flash, release both RT and right on the D-pad. The LED will flash 5 times indicating it is entering programming mode. Once the LED has finished flashing, you can increase the shots per second by pressing up on the D-pad or decrease them by pressing down on the D-pad. Each press up or down on the D-pad increases or decreases the shots per second by one. You can test the speed of the rapid fire at any time while in programming mode by pressing RT. Once you have found the best speed for you, your weapon of choice or game, simply press right on the D-pad to lock the rate of fire. After locking the rate of fire, the LED will flash the amount of times that corresponds to the amount of shots per second that you set. In this example, we pressed up on the D-pad 12 times, then press right on the D-pad to lock the rate of fire, and the LED flashed 12 times. After programming is complete, the LED will return to its heartbeat state and will fire at the rate set during programming. If you would like to reset all of the mod settings back to defaults, hold RT and LT, and while holding RT and LT, press up, down, up, down on the D-pad. The LED will flash 10 times indicating it is restoring the defaults, then will flash indicating the version of the mod installed. Once the LED flashes are complete, your mod is restored to factory defaults. In this example, after the LED flashed 10 times, the LED then flashed 3 times indicating that this mod was version 3.